Hello everybody, it's me, Nate, aka Double Dog, and happy Halloween everyone. And I'm back with another game review. This time I'm reviewing a game known as Falling Out. It was published by Firestroke and developed by Polycrunch Games. And I want to give a big huge shout out to the development team of Polycrunch Games for sending me a uh, code to be able to play and review their title. So this was le uh, released on October 6th of 2022 on the PS4, the PS5, Xbox X and Series X, and Nintendo Switch, and uh, through the uh, streaming on PC. Now, what exactly is Falling Out? Well, it's a rather charming 2.5D pixel art style roguelike platformer where you play as these two characters that pretty much got a second chance at another honeymoon to go to um, Egypt and the Great Pyramids. And you play as either Giorgio or Felice. And you can play this game in either co-op mode online or solo. Now, if you play solo, you can switch back and forth between the characters uh, by hitting the R2 trigger button. And they pretty much work together in tandem and being able to pick up and collect items, help each other with ropes up over areas they can't reach. And you use them both together to solve puzzles, avoid traps, collect loots, kill enemies, and escape the procedurally generated levels. That's right, uh, this game is a one of these procedurally generated roguelikes, but this one's kind of unique that it regenerates a new pyramid that you can explore every 24 hours. So after a 24-hour gameplay session, you come back, it'll be a different pyramid that you get to actually go through and explore. Um, now, it's really interesting, too, because it's not that really difficult either, uh, but you go around picking up items, smashing stuff, um, you know, collecting weapons, um, collecting items and materials that you can then trade in to this uh, guy that runs a shop to actually give you blueprints uh, from your collected items that you can use to craft, upgrade your gear and different weapons. And that's really about it, honestly. It is charming. Uh, the main character kind of looks a little bit like Wreck-It Ralph, but like a French version of Wreck-It Ralph. And, uh, you know, I don't know what Felice, she reminds me of somebody, but I'm not sure. And uh, But you go through the different levels, this, and they'll tell you with your stats when you do each uh, level in each world, how many enemies you killed, what loot you've collected, and then you go back to the shop, and from there you can use your money that you bought and buy things with. Or there's like a camera bank that you can deposit your money in there since this is a roguelike if you die you'll lose your money of course and if you put it in there it saves your money but I think he gets 10% of it each time so just keep that in mind when you're playing it but uh, really other than that um, you know it's got a couple other different modes to it and stuff like that you get your trophies of course like most every games you know give you um, the music's charming it's fun and at first I didn't realize I was like what language are they speaking and I believe they're speaking French. I could be wrong. If I am wrong, leave it in the comments below. I'm just basing that off of the fact that they wear berets and they have names of, uh, you know, Giorgio and Felice, which sounds like French names to me. Could be wrong. Um, but honestly, this game is charming. Like I said, it just came out on October 6th for just about every gaming system, and it only costs $15. So it's a reasonably priced game. It has a, a really cute art style to it. Uh, the story is rather bare bones, uh, but it, it serves the point with uh, some, you know, as you see here, some pictures and stuff that they go through. Like she's reliving their past, how they met up when her car was broken down and he fixed her car. And, and then they, you know, they saved each other from a meteorite to hit the car, fell in love. And she's, you know, thinking about the fond memories now. But you can tell their relationship, while it's still good, uh, you know, they're both wanting to go out and do something. So she basically gets a letter in the mail telling her that she is a winner of this contest that is a fully paid second vacation or honeymoon. So they go back to the uh, Great Pyramids and um, once they take a photograph that they shouldn't, they get lost, um, losing their party and they keep diving deeper into the different pyramids 
pyramids, uh, dungeons. Naturally, you have different monsters and enemies you can fight. Most of the time, you can jump on their heads, or you get weapons that you can attack and kill them with. You get different abilities like dynamite to blow up in certain areas. You can double jump off of walls and do a, oh, like a wall grab and slide. Uh, most areas that are too big, uh, you can lower a rope for the other person. You can pick up the other person and actually use them as a weapon if you want, if you want to be a jerk, uh, which I thought was kind of funny the first couple times I did it. I'm like, oh, this is actually a real mechanic. Um, but honestly, it's a pretty decent game. I think it only took me about maybe four hours or so to get through my first the complete playthrough of the first pyramid. I'll have to go back again later after the 24 hours is up to see you know how much it's uh, changed in terms of how the graphics look and everything. Um, honestly, it it wasn't that hard. It was charming. It was fun. Um, honestly, you know, it kind of reminds me back to some games, almost sort of. I wouldn't say Lemmings or anything. Thing, but it's kind of got this weird art style that, for whatever reason, makes me think of some other games I've played in the past. Um, honestly, and for fifteen dollars, no, fourteen, fifteen dollars, it's really not that bad. So if you're actually a fan of, uh, you know pixel style rogue light platformers remember not rogue like road light yeah you know, rogue light it's uh, rather easy i mean if you do die it's very easy to get your stuff back i mean and um honestly it it is good for what it is i've played way worse games i uh, i've played better games but for what this is and what the uh, small company uh, over at poly crunch games made i um, i actually think they should be proud of what they did it, it's it's fun it's visually um, attractive i didn't have any issues with it at all now now keep in mind i'm playing on the ps5 now i don't really think this is a game that is uh, for PS5. Now, honestly, if you have a PS5, go ahead and get the PS5 version. It runs smoother, uh, but honestly, there's like really no options on the PS5 to change the effects or nothing like that. I mean, obviously, this is, you know, obviously would play better on a PS4. It's It looks like a PS4 style game. It definitely is not showing off any bells and whistles on the PS5. I don't think there's any sort of dual sense, uh, um, you know, reactions on the controller while playing this. Um, but in the end, for what it is, I actually can recommend Falling Out. If you are a fan of these type games, especially a co-op version with a, uh, you know, uh, different uh, regenerated, uh, procedurally generated uh, you know, pyramid every 24 hours. I can say definitely for the price, pick it up because at least you know every time you play through it, the levels are going to be different somewhat. Uh, the gameplay is still structurally the same. You know, go through a, um, one of these levels, these dungeons, these crypts, uh, gather items, kill the enemies, get the collectible item at the end, and get to the exit before the the whole thing floods. Because uh, that's another thing. Uh, most of the time, if you take too long, the levels will flood. You can swim through the water, fortunately. Uh, naturally, you you know you if you run out of air from holding your breath, you can drown. But it's very easily able to go to where there's air and get air back. And but that's really all you do. You just go through these dungeons, jumping around, collecting jewels, coins, uh, and items to gain money that you can use to spend at the shop to um, upgrade your gear and weapons. And uh, also along the way, finding anything that you know, the the guy at the uh, shop can help you turn into uh, something else so, you know some new kind of blueprints for new gear and weapons um it, it for what it is it plays quite well uh now if any of you out there have actually played falling out please leave in the comments below if you agree or disagree with my uh, my video if you like the game or not if you haven't played falling out did you even hear this game because i really didn't know about it until like just a little bit ago uh but in the end uh once again i got to give a huge shout out to poly crunch games for providing me with the the code in order to play this to do this review and for fifteen dollars i actually can recommend this to people especially if you want some good co-op action fun um, in the end please give me a thumbs up if you like this video please leave lots of comments so i can answer each and every single one of them and remember people here at devil dog gaming we always end our videos by saying have fun play hard and remember people the devil is in the details and happy halloween y'all peace out until next time